ghetto And I wonder if it's crowded Okay, now I'm acting childish, but hey Don't force your religion on me And I won't force my non-religion on you Truth's the only thing I'm devoted to So am I equal or just loyal to you? So Bobby, fourth album, how does it feel? Ever wonder why every artist went out of their deal? The price you pay to sell out record stores When they say they sell their soul, it's not a metaphor Enormous, speaking out on these topics like swatting a nest or harness. They come from the left and right. They swarm our bodies like garments with chemicals that are harmless. After you bust your ass, they tax your ass for a portion. That's parasitic behavior. How dare they minimum wages? How dare you mention the pay cut like we did and read the terms and conditions? And they betrayed us. Don't need permission to wake up. Cause silence is your consent for them to consistently rape us. Let's go. Let's Let's go. 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 Let's go.
it was something about you, something about the energy that I knew that you was that you was righteous and and um and you shared with me. This was the thing is that you shared with me. I hit you up on Twitter and I, I forgot what question I asked you, but I just remember that you answered um, to not eat high fructose corn, corn syrup and to like check your, check my barbecue sauce and shit like that. And I looked and I was like, damn, you know. And I did the research and I was like, okay, my man is is really out here with it um, and really and really um really speaking truth. You know what I mean? That's what really caught me is that you know when you look it up, it is what it is. Um, and so with that. I wanted to share a couple things with you. Um, first, uh, is this right here, especially since you put out, oh, for those that don't know, he just put out a project, Air, um, Art Imitates Reality, datpiff.com, D-A-T-P-I-F-F.com. Go download it, support it, share it, because the information in the lyrics is very important in these days and times. And his other earth. I don't remember all the acronyms, but you got a project called Earth, Water, Fire, and now Air. Um, so download all of them, listen to the lyrics because they're all, um, you know, is important. Um, but I wanted to share this with you. This book is called Where Did the Towers Go? Evidence of Directed Free Energy Technology on 9-11. And it's by Judy Wood. And uh, I humbly feel if you uh, it's, it's fifty dollars you know kind of expensive for us but I figure you got it like that um, if I, I, I humbly feel when you when if and when you get that book and check out the information um, you will see the truth in it you know what I mean just like just like how you know you lay out the information and once you look it up for yourself it's not really debatable it's, it is what it is and that that sister there Judy Wood Dr. Judy Wood she lays out the information so clear that you cannot dispute it. And, and also, you, I know that because of like what you're going through with the whole flat earth thing, you'll be able to recognize the same kind of attacks um, that people are putting up against her. You know what I mean? Because it's never about the actual information. They always, you know, these people attack the personality and try to distract um distract people from actually listening to the message and listening to the information and researching it for themselves and you know they want they want you to just dismiss what's being said but I humbly ask you to just check out her interviews um, check out the book more more than anything because the facts of the facts lays it out um, you know like two three hundred pages worth of information um, just amazing um, the other thing that I want to speak on is us being Moors. Um, I don't know if you're familiar um, or how much you know, um, but I humbly would ask for you to study um, a man named Noble Drew Ali. And I, I just pose a couple questions that I like to pose to people to get them to think. Um, that, uh, Mac, before I do that, I'll show you real quick. And I'm showing this, granted, understand it. It was more than just about Islam or about changing religion. This is really about um, our nation, you know, as you say in, in, the, in the track on Mercy Me. Um, you know, it's really about us being a nation, so-called black people having our own nationality. And Noble Drali was the first and only brother to really speak about our nationality. You know, it's a few people that talk about black nationalism and black nationalists, but we're not black people. Obviously, you can see right here, this is black it doesn't match our skin but if you look yes sorry I get a little sidetracked but boom this is American Dictionary the English Language Noah Webster 1828 and if you look in here I'm going to try to show it to you but if you look in into this dictionary you will see American right at the top here let's see if you can see it there I don't know if you can see that right there, but I'll read it to you. American, a native of America originally applied to the aboriginals or copper colored races, copper colored races, um, found here by the Europeans, but now applied to the descendants of Europeans born in America. That's, this is one of the only dictionaries that I've been able to find uh, an accurate definition of, of American. You know, um, but getting back to what I was saying, we're not black people. We're actually the true Americans, um, Moorish Americans to be specific. 
um, and Noble Drew Ali was the brother that came to teach us that we weren't black, we weren't Negroes, we weren't colored, we weren't, um, we're not African American, um, you know, that we're not niggers, that we're actually Moors. Um, oh, but I wanted to show this to you just because uh, once you think about it, it's hard to, it's hard to argue with this idea. Uh, where is this at in America? Yeah. Boom. So this is Islam, Islam for dummies. Find it anywhere. It's not like it's hidden information. Right here, very clearly, Noble Drali. Right. Um, the first, the Moore Science Temple of America is the first explicitly Islamic movement in the United States. I don't even want to read too much more, but. Just understand that before the Nation of Islam, before any of these Islamic movements or any, you know, Muslim movements that were that are in the United States now currently, um, you know, that Noble Dr. Ali was the first person that was bringing Islam, our nationality, our true history, our true culture um, back to the so-called black people here in North America. Um, and I don't even really want to get into too much more. I, I trust you know a brother like yourself um, will do the research and you'll see you see anything for yourself um, so thank you um, yeah that's really all I got thank you much love to you um, keep shining I know we're gonna cross paths soon um, shout out to Playboy Trey uh, well hey I'm balling on the 20th floor how you said that? that that's my man I love those videos shout out to, to uh, all your people with uh, no genre. Uh, who is that catchy was rapping with? I forgot the dude you was rapping with. That nigga was spitting some shit. Um, man, just much love to you. Um, keep shining. Keep doing your thing. Keep speaking the truth, bro. Because we need it so desperately right now. And in, 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 a, in a very short minute, man, in a very short second, people will know the real. And you will get the honor and the respect. And the appreciation you deserve for for the sacrifices you've been making, um, you know this this road this road that we walking ain't easy, uh, but it's the right one. Thank you. Much love to you. Peace. Run bad lane with the top back. Speed no brakes with a gas at. Quicker than cop, push your cap back. So you already know where the strap at. Man, you already know when you're in beast mode. Man, you already know a nigga passed that. Everybody falls flat. Man, you already know a nigga blessed. You already, already, you already know. You already know. You already know. I can tell you cause you already know. You already know. You already know. You already know. I can tell you, but you already know. Running with my hands up, I'm just fucking all these bands up. Simple man, I don't demand much. I'm just trying to roll these grams up. What you wanted me to say to you? Give you something to awaken you? Find a topic that's conveyable? A prophecy that's inescapable? This the world that they portray to you. Sovereignty is unattainable. Justice too is unavailable. The judge's ruling is persuadable. Slavery is generational. Who you worship, who you brand to? Why these fakers what they say to you? You see the truth is unmistakable, no. Nah. They wouldn't lie to me, dog, no. Nah. They wouldn't lie to me, bro, no. Nah. They wouldn't lie to the world, no. Nah. They wouldn't lie under oath. Right. No man can be high as the law. The law they were sworn to uphold. It's too late, the door's been closed. Uh -huh. Too many stories been told. Doors been told.
but truly understand. Cascading thoughts of form an avalanche. Eventual leader, shit gon' hit the fan. Niggas that sick of suffering got the man. Climb up the mountain just so we can stand. Big brother, hang you off it by your pants. No more religious to no more religious. The people that put the law above the land. It's a scam, like Iraq and Iran. Afghanistan created targets, create the martyrs, democracy artists. Good hearted people enlisted to fight for the system to strip all your rights. And the pictures delivered in doses so potent that when they're administered, people turn sinister. The retina, the all seeing retina, the mark of the beast, the mark of the predator. God bless, a, God bless America, God bless the regular, far from the regular. Don't kill the messenger, bats. Grind bad lane with the top back. Speed no brakes with the gas at. Quicker than cop, push your cat back. So you already know where the strap at. Man, you already know when you're in beast mode. Man, you already know a nigga past that. Everybody falls flat. Man, you already know a nigga blessed. You already, already, you already know. You already know. You already know. I can tell you cause you already know. You already know. You already know. You already know. I can tell you, but you already know. See my best, checkmate, in a game of chess, globalist, see me as a threat, free thinking, got the world at my neck, huh? And my paranoid picture, Malcolm X, in a room full of bigs, trying not to bust a sweat, Hey, Neil Tyson need to loosen up his vest, they probably write that man one hell of a check, Hey, I'm over here on this side of town, come on over, 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 over here, try to clown, Hey, I never pipe down, if they weren't coming for me, then they definitely coming for me now. I can't even keep my phone charged up All the shit I'm talking, I should get my own barred up Rappers, get off of my dick and get your own bars up Vladimir and Liz's breath, got the clone skirt, cuz Use your, use, use your common sense Why is NASA part Department of Defense? They divided up the seas into 33 degrees Feeding kids masonry, bruh, be careful what you read Flatline, flatline There's no superior bloodline Flatline, flatline you got me once, but that died. Ayy, voice, voice. Do I have a voice? Do I give a fuck? Do I have a choice? Joint, joint. I roll up a joint. Keep my shooters in the game like I hate to disappoint. I see only good things on the horizon. That's probably why the horizon is always rising. Indoctrinated in a cult called science. And graduated to a club full of liars. Heliocentrism, you were the sixth victim. Fuck you and your team, you can sit on the bench with them, they nervous. But before you try to curve it, do your research on David Irving. Stalin was way worse than Hitler. That's why the POTUS gotta wear a kipper. I'm a man first for an artist. Get a lawyer, look up Dr. Richard Sarda. Bounce. Flatline. You fooled us for the last time. Flatline. Flatline. There's no superior bloodline. Then. So you want to find the farthest point from that center. And it turns out sea level at the equator is farther away from the center of the Earth than sea level near the poles. It has nothing to do with global warming and melting of the ice caps. Why is that? Because Earth, we know it spins once a day. Yes, thank you. Three people know the, <laughs> how long a day last year. Good for row number two. <laughs> They're off to a great start. So, so you spin, you know, when you spin pizza dough, it kind of flattens out. Yeah. It gets wider in the middle. And So Earth, throughout its life, even when it formed, it was spinning. And it got a little wider at the equator than it does at the poles. So it's not actually a sphere. It's an it's oblate. And officially it's an oblate spheroid. That's what we call it. But not only that, it's slightly wider below the equator than above the equator. A little chubbier. A little chubbier. Yeah. Chubby's a good word. It's like pear-shaped. Yeah. So it turns out 
the pear shapedness is bigger than the height of Mount Everest above sea level. Bounce. Flatline, you fooled us for the last time. Flatline, flatline, there's no superior bloodline. Yeah.